Hello everyone, it's Camelsaurus here with a very uh, late, I, this should have been done ages ago, but I'm going to be going through with my thoughts and opinions on all the new 2016 figures that have been released so far and will be released in the future. So this is part one, which is Safari Limited. So let's get right on to this. So uh, the first figure we're going to be looking at is the Aeneasaurus and... Yeah, honestly, this figure looks really nice. I uh, I love Ceratopsians. Any Ceratopsian I can get my hand on, I will buy it. I've got still got some to pick up, but it's nice to see a new Ceratopsian in the works. So uh, that is the Aeneasaurus. My personal thoughts on it. Let me try and see if I can get a bigger photo of this guy. Hey, we got zoomed in photos there. So I don't like the the fact that the horn is this. Uh, kind of fossil like colour and but apart from that you know the detail on this figure looks amazing so yeah I will definitely be picking this guy up so uh, let's go back now and yeah so next we have the micro raptor you know I'm just gonna say my opinions hey bionicle saurus please tell me how are you so good at getting all the bloomin uh, pictures of the figures because I saw your video very professional your two videos so basically this is the micro raptor very nice figure very nice I haven't got micro raptor yet I was gonna pick up the Carnegie one but since this is coming out next year I will wait for this awesome looking figure so yeah uh, I really love the feathering detail on this guy is really awesome see if I can get a closer look for you guys. I know you'll have seen these figures already if you're a dinosaur fan. So yeah, uh, obviously the accurate colours are a really good reason to get this. I'll probably split this into parts by the way, because it's going to take a little bit. So, Coelophysis, $8.99. I'm from the UK, so I'm not sure what that is right now. But the seal physis, this these are proto feathers, maybe I'm not sure. They look like very small covering of feathers, which uh, I don't know. Seal physis would have had Triassic dinosaur. I wasn't, I'm not sure if feathers were around them, but you know, whatever they think is right. Here's a photo of it, looking really cool posed in a natural environment and it really works well. I love the colour scheme on this guy. So up next just give this thing some time to load. <laughs> up next is uh the Tylosaurus. Now I thought this figure is a real disappointment compared to the rest of the line. I know much many people will not like my view on that. But I feel, why? Why? What is with Safari Limited this year making animal kind of, like, modern day animal colourings on animals that should not be coloured like that? Like, what, what the, 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 it's a tiger. No, it's not a tigersaurus, tylosaurus. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so apart from that, the mould looks really good. And you know what? I am a hypocrite because I will probably still pick this up. I just wish they hadn't made it. A Tigersaurus. So yeah. Anyway, for this video, the comment down below for this for this video, comment down. Uh, Tigersaurus. Make a joke about Tigersaurus or something, cause uh, it's dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's scroll down. So up next we have ooh, the Cowasaurolophus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should really stop making fun of these models because they are really nice models, but mm, coloration. This coloration is actually quite nice, but yeah, it does look a bit like a cow. I think Bionicle Zora said that in his video. So honestly, I will probably pick this up, but I kind of wish it doesn't look quite right. It looks kind of chubby, to be honest. I know it should be big, but I mean, that thing's face maybe can be. Uh, it doesn't look right to me. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. So, let's go back. $10. That is uh, quite a lot of money for that figure. I'm not sure 
see for me it's not going to cost ten dollars because I have pounds of the currency I follow. So anyway, Quetzal Quatlas next. Oh, I am excited for this guy. This guy is, ugh, he just looks so nice. Now, I already have two Quetzal Quatlas figures and they're both by Schleich. And I like them, but they're not accurate. Like, let's be honest. This here is the most perfect Quetzalcoatlus I think I've ever seen in toy form. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, I wish it was in a standing position. No. No. We have had standing position Quetzalcoatluses that have been accurate by Collector. However, Collector have not done the deed of giving us a flying one. And I personally like flying ones more. I want a flying Hatsigopteryx still from Collector, which I haven't gotten. But uh, this... <laughs> Getting a nice accurate flying Quetzalcoatlus is just really awesome. So I like that guy. I will definitely pick it up. So we got the Cetacosaurus. The Leopardsaurus. Alright, let's go. So the Leopardsaurus here. Um Cetacosaurus. Very nice. I'm not sure about that colour scheme. I mean leopard spots, eh. I don't think animal like dinosaurs should have modern day animal prints on them like this. I think with the Giganotus What eleven dollars for this guy? Oh my gosh, I don't think anyone's pointed that out, but that is crazy, man. Anyway. What do they think no. <laughs> I'll still pick it up, but <laughs> it's a lot of money. I think this is really good because basically We've had the collector one, which was on all fours, and now we have this guy, which is on two. So that is a nice, nice little change, a nice uh, different pose on the guy. I am collect. I am uh, comparing Safari Limited to Collector a lot, but you know. Anyway, up next we have uh, Donald Duck himself, the Dino Kyrus. Yeah, all this is just jokes, guys. Don't get offended if I'm making fun of these figures because it's just, just funny. It's fun to me. Anyway, when we look at this nice face sculpt here, it does look like a duck. Or, I think my Honicle Source said it was a pelican looking like. I think it looks like a duck. It does look a bit like a pelican, but I, I just want to edit. I wish someone would just edit a Donald Duck blue hat on the top of that thing. That would just make my day. But compared to the Collecte Dino Kyrus, I think I like this guy better. I think he's bigger and bulkier, which he probably should be. Very, he looks like he's made to survive. The other one, the Collecte one, is too skinny, too thin. But uh, yeah, I really like this guy. Um, I honestly think the Collecte's one was, eh, it was it was good. I still have it, but not having a base that is just ugh, amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's loading up a second. Okay, we're going to go on to the last one for today. The Velociraptor. The Feathered Velociraptor. Now, um, we have had Feathered Velociraptors popping up recently, very often. And it's very nice. I mean, this Feathered Velociraptor is one unlike any other... It's just really awesome. I mean, I think it's possibly the best Feather Velociraptor ever. Safari so Limited have finally got the Feather Velociraptor right. No other company has managed to do it right. What? No. It actually needs wings, which this guy has. And this awesome tail fan, so accurate. Now, I don't like the fact that the skin underneath is green. I wish it was yellow, maybe, because that would be a lot more accurate in my eyes. To have like the feet here yellow instead of green and the bit over here green. But you know, whatever. $15, oh my gosh. Worth it, it's worth it. I, 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 I don't even care. It's worth it. So yeah guys, that's it for part one. Tune next time for part two, which will probably be out today as well. So uh, until next time guys, this is Camel Source. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.